Welcome to the Learn As We Go channel. My name's Gareth, and today I'm going to show you the best settings to change in Cura that will stop the stringing when you're doing 3D prints. So when I get a new roll of filament, the first thing I'll do is print a temp tower. So every brand of filament will print slightly different. They've got a range of temperatures that you should really test to see which temperatures are better for your machine with different filaments. The temp tower prints from 240 degrees, which is way too hot, down to 190 degrees. If you want to know how to print a temperature tower, I'll link to that video now and it'll be linked in the video description as well. But in this video, it's all about how to stop the stringing. So the setting we need to stop the stringing is called retraction. That's under travel, so you can literally click retraction and it'll generically add its own uh, retraction settings. If you want to fine tune it, you come up to these three lines, click it, and from basic, we're going to set it to expert and that just gives us more control over the uh, settings of the uh, printer. So this retraction distance is set to 3.5. The retraction speed is 25 millimeters. So the retraction distance is how far the filament's gonna be pulled away from the hot end. I generally set mine to five. And then the retraction speed is how fast that gets retracted. Normally I set it to about 50. I'll do a quicker print of the temperature tower. I think this one takes about 40 minutes. So for the Arion Silk Blue, um, that I definitely recommend is a really good filament to get off Amazon. Um, the retraction distance were 5 and the retraction speed were 30. If you want links to the filament I use, I'll put that in the description below and that will just take you straight to Amazon and it will buy from the seller that I buy from. So when I'm fine tuning these settings, the retraction distance I'll go up or down by 1mm and the retraction speed I'll go up and down about 5mm. Um, but for me, for this filament, these are my best settings, 5 and 30. Hope you found this short video useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so I'll do more helpful tutorials in the future.